Hi, sorry I haven't posted in a while. Things have been going on, it's kinda crazy. Um, so I thought I was just gonna talk about it while I do my makeup. Because I'm bored and I wanna do a story time. But I also don't wanna just sit in front of the camera and talk for like an hour. So, I was like, oh, why not do a story time? So that's what we are right now. So, a lot of things have been going on. I dyed my hair, which that video is coming soon, I promise. Um, and then my boyfriend broke up with me, um, which is great. He dumped me from my ex-best friend. That's the reason we aren't friends anymore, because um, she lied to me, um, which is great. And then a lot of drama has been happening at my school involving me. Um, some people like me at my school, which I had no idea about. Like, <laughs> and then, let's see. So far, I know two people like me out of my friend group, which is great. Um, then... The drama with my ex-boyfriend is getting really bad. Probably gonna move schools because of the bullying already, you know? Um, let's see, the drama is more like it's, I'm getting blamed for him breaking up with me, which I had nothing to do with that. Because the whole idea was he just wanted me for either my body or my best friend. <laughs> they both have bees in it. Also, um, I know he was using me because, one, he was being really weird with the whole relationship, and then, okay, he texted me about like 150 times, that might sound a lot, but in text messaging, that's not that much, and, um, it's really not that much at all, like, maybe 105 messages, like, that's not that much messages from one person in a span of three months and then he goes in off I'm gonna call this person you know I don't care I'm gonna use the real name so Avery's my ex-best friend Dyson Fawcett is my ex-boyfriend and so what's going on is basically um he was just using me to get closer to her or something like that or I just wasn't good for good enough for him anymore which honestly I'm the best human being on this earth not to be selfish and everyone's like, oh my god, you're so jealous. If I was jealous, I would show you what jealous is. And people are like, oh my god, you're going crazy on them. Wouldn't you go crazy on someone that just stole your boyfriend? And then your boyfriend, well, they stole your best friend. And best, your boyfriend stole your best. So your boyfriend stole your best friend. And your best friend stole your boyfriend. And um, wouldn't you be like a, like a little bit mad? Like, I am. We did it for three months, three months, a waste of my time and energy when I could have been with someone who actually liked me. So yeah, I was a little bit mad that he wasted my time. But like he got over me so fast because he literally, the day after he broke up with me, he went after my best friend. Which I think is hilarious, but like, everyone's like, why are you laughing? I'm like, because it's literally so funny that he, everyone thinks I care, but I literally don't. So yeah, I'm taking about two days off because I beat the frick out of her, and also because <sighs> emotional support. Because people are snitches and it's not cool. Oh, I just realized how white and thick this concealer was. Because I'm not that color anymore. I used to be like really, really white. And I'm not that white anymore. Maybe it'll give me some highlight to like my T zone and all of this, but. 
this one is a little so thick. I have to add the lotion that goes with it or it literally will not blend out. It literally will not blend out without like some kind of primer or lotion added to it. I know y'all are probably roasting me about my makeup right now. Oh my god. It's so cakey. Oh my god, it looks so good. I haven't done makeup in about four years. And I'm not no 20 year old that did makeup school for four years. I am 13, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna gossip about drama. Like, who the heck does it at this age? Like, realistically. setting photo as I realized which I'm probably I'm supposed to be in bed right now. Which I really like how right after this video I have to go take this off and make an Instagram live. So there's no really point of me trying in this makeup. But I'm still going to a little bit because There's a lot of product on it right now and I don't want contamination with other products. I don't know if I'm the only one that does that. Just to get it nice and so it blends up evenly. You can find all the products on my Instagram. Why do I look kind of snatched right now? I'm not even gonna lie. We're gonna add a little bit of blush so I don't look dead, you know? I should just go for like an e-girl look because I'm already halfway there. Just go for an e-girl look. But no, I'm just gonna go for like, kind of like a natural e-girl TikTok trend. Because I'm, once again, I'm not trying. I'm not trying on my makeup as you can tell because it's literally not blended at all. I'm not trying. I was trying, you could tell. See, I'm literally showing you I'm not trying. I'm not, see, now you know I'm not trying. I literally just took my finger and smudged black on my eyelids. Now you know I'm not playing. I know my eyebrows are popping, I don't even know why. I mean, the foundation just like popping off. That's all for this video. Um, if you want me to do clown makeup or like TikToks, um, I got you. <laughs> Bye, guys.